Hello, welcome back to the channel. I've been away on holiday for about a month because I needed a break after building this huge update to the prototype platform. You can check that out. But this video is about Letter and this is the new version that you can see here. So in my last video, I left off talking about moving the whole app into Strappy CMS. I finished that and now I've made this totally new version. I'm just going to use this video to run through the updates and show you why I made changes to certain bits. So straight away you can see that it looks different. In the centre we've got this canvas section that boxes the newsletter into its own scrollable area. And then on the left side we've got a new panel with all of the newsletter cards where you can just click to add them like this. And then on the right, now the inspectors open up with these menus. To show the changes I've made to the editor better, I'm going to switch between the old version, which is this one, and the new version, this one. So to start with, the first thing I did was make this menu, which used to be a pop open thing, a panel so that all the cards are visible at once, because this is what people use most adding cards to the newsletter and I noticed that people generally don't use this panel at all because it's quite fiddly to change stuff so that's reflecting this change here where it becomes a small menu and then also these drop down uh, pop out menus were actually a bit tricky to use so you actually have to you have to drag items out to add them onto the canvas so if I click it, nothing happens, but when I drag it, I can drop it. But also I can't even scroll here. You have to sort of put it towards the bottom and it triggers a scroll, which makes it a bit tricky to use. So instead, in the new version, you can just filter and then you can just click on a card to add it on. So if I click that, it adds it on. And you'll see that it pops open the content import panel straight away. So I'll do that again. Try it with a single card. So when I click it, it adds it and opens the content import panel because the main feature in Letter is to automate the manual tasks that people usually have to do building the newsletter. So you can see here there's a whole list of articles that I can import to this card that's selected that's just been added on so if I choose an article and then click import it pulls it right in and also adding you can still drag and drop as well but another thing that's cool is depending on what you've got selected when you add the card it's gonna add it underneath whatever's selected and scroll to it so there you go, you don't get lost. And the same thing is when you move the cards. So if you're moving them up and down, it'll keep it in the viewport. So in the old version, if you press down here, it's gone. Then you have to scroll down to it. Yeah. And the content import was never obvious. That's why I've made it pop open straight away. So when you add a card, you have to click on content panel and then select, make sure it's selected and then import something by pasting a link. And instead of forcing people to go out to a new tab and find a link like this and copy the link address and paste it in, that's going to take a minute. Instead of doing that, I've added a way to connect your feed from your website. So at the moment, I've got the sketch site feed plugged in, and then you can just choose without going out. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to end this video now because that's kind of shown a few of the features. But what I'm going to do now is separate this content panel from the style tabs because when you connect the feed, I don't actually have a place to do it yet. So if you haven't got a feed connected, oh yeah, the reason this pops up and down is because if you have 
I'm just jumping around now. If you have like a card with loads of articles, like this one, so I ignore the blue, you want to import into different slots. So there's six here in this card, and maybe you want to put it into that one. So when you click that, it opens the feed. You can click it and close it and then press import on a bunch of them. So I'll just demo that. Anyway, I'll do another video, but if you've got any questions or want access, well, this is only on local hosts at the moment. Well, let me know and I can sort it out, but it's, it's really good. I mean, it cuts down the time to take to build a newsletter to minutes and then, yeah, there's this AI writer. So this is what I'm doing now as well. See this little zap button. I'm just going to have like a bit like Notion because I get inspiration from the apps that I use. And I really like how Notion have done their AI where it has like a pop out menu. So I'm going to have rewrite different ways of writing with AI. So the menu will look a bit more like this one, which I haven't finished yet. But yeah, it's, it's coming along pretty good. Um, anyway, I've just been babbling on, but that's where this app is. And I'm going to finish this in the next couple of days, get the new version on.